time management is something that we don't talk about too much. It's kind of a, something that you're expected to do, but I find a lot of students um, tend to merge their personal life and their work life and not really separate the two. So I really separate my work life from my home life and I like to make sure that I make time in the day for doing exercise and make time in the day for meeting my friends for a coffee. So when I treat everything as a series of responsibilities, it's easier to sort of, they're on equal grounds, so it's easier to say, okay, I do have a responsibility today to give myself an hour. If you elevate one over the other, it's so easy to say, I'm not gonna sleep tonight, I'm gonna write. For me, it's very helpful that I have an advisor who I can set regular meetings with to set deadlines for tasks that I wanna get done. Um, and that just really helps me keep on track because a week is a much more achievable deadline than a year. I think the biggest and perhaps most counterintuitive time management tip that I would share is sleep. Um, because if you get exhausted, you can't actually manage anything, let alone your time. So I have made it a priority to get regular sleep. Just using positive self-talk rather than negative, it's really tempting to say uh, to yourself that you have to do this, otherwise bad things will happen, or you should be doing this, or you shouldn't be doing that. Um, and I like to try and think about it, like whether you're doing work or you're trying to motivate yourself to go to the gym, uh, think about the positive outcome and say, okay, when I get this done, I'm gonna feel so good about myself and I'm gonna feel energetic and I'm gonna feel free for the rest of my days. So trying to really motivate yourself with positive self-talk.